let us see the next question a project had equity beta 1.20 equity beta is given and was going to be financed by a combination of 30% debt and 70% equity assuming debt beta to be zero you need not to provide because this is a routine assumption that we always make calculate the project beta the students the project beta stands for beta of the asset and the second question overall cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital if rf is 10 percentage and rm is 18 percentage so again there are two questions one is the calculation of the beta of asset and second is the calculation of the required data return. Try to do answer of both questions on your own and put your answer in the chat box. So friends, again, we have not been given information about the taxes, so we can do answer like this. Beta of asset is calculated as beta of equity into weight of equity plus beta of debt into weight of debt. That is the way the beta of the asset can be calculated. Equity beta is provided as 1.20. And we are going to have 70% equity. Beta of debt is given 0. Beta of debt financing is 0 0.30. So 1.2 into 0.7. That comes to 0 0.84. This is the way the beta of the asset or project beta can be calculated. Next is the weighted average cost of capital. To compute the same, once again, working note number one, calculation of K, it is RF plus beta into RM minus RF. The risk free rate of return is provided as 10% plus beta is 1.20, that is beta of the equity into rm minus rf that is 18 minus 10 so 10 plus 1.8 into 8 so 10 plus 1.2 into 8 is 9.6 that comes to 19.6 percentage this is the way the ke can be calculated as far as the cost of debt financing is concerned once again, we make an assumption that we will borrow at a risk free rate of return. So, KD, it is rate of interest into 1 minus T. What is rate of interest 10 into 1 minus 0? So, it is 10 percent itself. That is the way the KD is calculated. Afterwards, Weighted average cost of capital, that is cost of equity into weight of equity plus cost of debt into weight of debt. Cost of equity is 19.6 into weight of equity is 0 0.70. Cost of debt finance is 10. Weight is 0 0.30. So 19.6 into 0.7 is 13.72 plus 3, 16.72. Again friends, same explanation. You may compute the weighted average cost of capital taking into account the beta of unlevered equity 0.84. In that case, the answer can be calculated like this. RF plus beta into RF minus RF. What is the risk free rate of return? It is 10. Beta is 0.84. Return on the market portfolio is 18 minus 10. So 18 to 0 0.84, 6.72. 16.72% is the required rate of return. So first of all, 
using simple weighted average formula beta of the asset is calculated then k kd and weighted average cost of capital or using the beta of the asset weighted average cost of capital can be calculated 